Hello guys, it's Abby here. I have some news to share with you. I wanted to let you all know that I started my transition and I'm excited to share it with you because it's Trans Awareness Week this week. And so what better way to start and telling you this. Um, I'm telling you also because in that way I you guys know how to uh, refer to me when you meet me please if you can call me Albi and not Alberto anymore it would be much appreciated as well as using female pronouns uh, I just want to let you all know that I'm really happy and um, excited so if you see me around you know what's up okay so thanks again for your time and have a wonderful day. Hi to whomever is watching. Hi guys. Um, so today is my birthday. I am turning 34 and um, it's also my 11th day on hormone therapy. Um, just wanted to update myself and you all about the process. So no big changes really, um, just registered a little bit of weakness uh, while I was training in ballet class and um, uh, I start noticing a little bit of a nipple growth and uh, it's nice and it's not very visible yet but it's different for me so I saw it today uh, under the leotard and that's it i don't feel crazy yet i didn't have major mood swings that could be related to the hormones i had mood swings on my own but um yeah nothing really much different so just wanted to update and maybe make a collection of these videos and then we'll probably see the difference when i watch them okay thank you guys Bye. Good morning. So as you guys know, I'm trying to do document everything and do a little video blog. So today I'm on my way to the stitching job that I got at the Armory uh, in the Upper East Side. And I decided to wear a nice cute jumper and uh, a skirt and my boots and I feel really good um, and that's it I think I'm taking little steps in my journey to be more comfortable in my own skin and uh, although sometimes people people tend to react to it very nicely they call me she her and stuff like that and then there is always some jerk that is gonna yesterday at the pizza place it was like hello sir and i was like sir first of all do you think that if i want to be called sir i will wear a skirt anyway it's very rude of some people but if you don't stand up for yourself and correct them they will never know so some you have to suck it up and be like it's ma'am or something like that because here in america everyone address you with hello sir hello madam they don't say just like hi they need to call you by your gender so that's the thing you have to borrow for okay i'm gonna get my train bye hi guys it's albi here so this short little video just wants um, to follow up with my journey and uh, I have to say that today I had a really good day. I'm feeling really positive. I got a new job as a wardrobe assistant um, for, a, for a play. So, you know, I'm still in the theater um, backstage and uh, I get to work on costumes and uh, I feel pretty good. I feel like it's a good change for me. Uh, transitioning 
from a ballet career to another job is not the easiest thing to do. It takes a lot of courage, but, um, but I think it's a good choice for me where I'm standing right now. And um, sometimes I feel weird about, you know, dancing and uh, not feeling super comfortable about the body that I have. And uh, dance, ballet especially, can be pretty cruel because it's all about the way you look and your physique and your proportions and and it's very genderized so sometimes i don't feel super good in my own skin so you know it's good to have a break and uh, concentrate on something else that has more to do with the brain and how i present myself and um, here the theater that been super nice They've been addressing me with the right pronouns and that makes a huge, huge difference. When you're trans, you um, really need that from people. And um, although sometimes it's hard, you have to, you know, speak up and say, hey, could you do this for me? These are, you know, I go by she, I go by her. And um, you're not, you can't expect everyone to know what you're going through and to know how you want to be addressed if you don't say it yourself so you know it's hard and um it sucks but sometimes you have to just speak up and say it and um people just to hear it and um usually they they address you with the right pronoun so as again if you you know you you want to make a difference um, with around trans people with a trans friend you have just remember that it's really important the pronouns are really important no matter where the person is in her journey or his journey it's important to address her or she with the right pronouns um, again i feel positive i haven't had any mood swings yet. Um, it's been a month and a few days and uh, maybe it's because I'm taking pills and I'm not taking the shots uh, that I didn't have any like important mood swings yet but um, everything is going well. My breasts are growing. I'm excited about that and um, overall I feel pretty good. I had to change uh, my medications because I was taking Spiro and estrogen at the same time. And uh, sorry for the heater. Ooh, yeah. Um, so Spiro wasn't very good for me. I was feeling very tired. And uh, in ballet class especially, I was feeling exhausted and out of breath and my heart was beating a lot faster and I couldn't get through the combinations. So um, I got off of it and um, the doctor said, see how you feel and you know, it's not necessarily that you do that. If you keep doing estrogen, it's fine. So I got off and I feel much better. Maybe, I don't know if I should get back on it, but um, I mean, why, why messing up with, with it if you're feeling good? that's what you should be doing i think so anyway thank you guys for listening to my update and uh, i'll keep you posted bye good morning new york Woo, it's cold outside hi guys it's i'll be here i'm on my way to work i just wanted to stop by really quickly and tell you that i'm feeling really really good about myself and um, today is a positive day, and let's keep it that way. Excuse the wind. Um, so everything is going well. I have my, it's not a nine to five, it's more like a 12 hour job at the moment, because I'm working at a wardrobe assistant for a play. It's really exciting. Um, I don't have a phone yet. This is my old phone I'm recording on because my phone got snatched away on the subway by someone that took it off my hands and ran away 
and that's a whole story I want to talk about maybe more extensively mm -hmm. in uh, the next video anyway today I feel really positive um, everything is going great so we're just gonna keep going like this hi guys so I wanted to um, talk to you shortly uh, just uh, to show you what the reality of things um, you know it's not always roses it's not always going great um, there's a lot of people that need to be educated and there are a lot of people that are rude and there's a lot of people that maybe don't intend to be rude but they are um, and maybe that's because like my um, you know my documents don't state my new name yet so anyway I had a very difficult week because my phone got stolen on the subway and I don't want to say um, that it got stolen because um, I was dressed I'm just saying that maybe I was more more vulnerable and um, anyway I was sitting on the uh, train it stopped at 125th and I was sitting by the doors and uh, a young guy came in and snatched the phone I mean came in he didn't even came in he just put his uh, hand through the door snatched my phone and ran away so since then it's been a nightmare trying to get this phone back to work I got a replacement phone um, I was under my friend's line a lot of drama and um, I had to go to Sprint many, many times and uh, my documents still state my last name and I go in and they're like, hello, sir. And you know, first of all, I don't appreciate that here it's they always have to follow a greeting with like they have to call your gender. Why can't they just be like, good morning and that's it. No, they have to state sir or ma'am, like it's so important to them. I don't understand this whole genderized greeting here in America. Anyway, um, and I mean, okay, you know, I'm not there yet with my looks and whatever, but I don't think I look like a sir, or I don't think I want to look like sir. I don't present myself like that. Anyway, um, it would be maybe nice to be asking before and like, hey, is that okay if I um, address you as such? what would you like me to use as pronouns that's thoughtful but no they have to go on and so i was like shut her down straight away don't call me sir please call me ma'am and um yeah she was kind of like oh okay well yes yeah i have to say it to you i have to educate you i have to tell you that i'm not standing i'm standing up for that i don't want to be called sir that's not my pronoun right now so yeah I have to say that and I have to be really upfront with it and sometimes it really hurts because people don't seem to understand but um, that's all I have to do it's all in my power so again um, I have to be really tough sometimes Anyway, so this is what's going on and uh, I will update you soon. Bye! Hello guys, uh, today I just wanted to make this short video because I feel great and um, it's one of those days when I have barely any makeup and I feel good about myself. Hi guys, it's Albi here. Today I took a little moment for myself to stop and celebrate my two months on HRT. Sometimes it's really good to uh, stop for a second from your everyday routine and appreciate what I have. So I suggest that you do the same and thanks for following my journey.